The Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers and Trainmen is the senior railway union in the Western Hemisphere. It was founded in 1863 as the Brotherhood of the Footboard and has provided the highest quality of representation for locomotive engineers and now other crafts of rail employees for nearly 150 years. Founded during the tragic days of the Civil War, BLE members have contributed to the war efforts in all of our nation's battles up to and including the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. Our contributions were both on and off the rails, in and out of uniform. Founded on May 8, 1863, the BLE was the first of the now existing labor organizations to champion the rights of railway workers. Railroading over a hundred years ago was a hazardous and dirty occupation. Soft coal smoke and black soot literally covered the countryside, the train, and the engine. Those in the engine cab were coated with grime after every trip. Although the discomforts were many, hot in the summer, cold and drafty in the winter, the locomotive engineer had greater trials to face than this. He worked for a low rate of pay and was often kept on the road for long periods of time, needing rest and fighting sleep. Yet he was put in charge of trainloads of goods or passengers and expected to be alert at all times. Derailments were commonplace, and wrecks with other trains due to human error or mechanical failure were the risks of the craft. The locomotive engineer was a rugged individual who had come up the hard way. By shoveling coal into the fiery, gaping jaws of assorted sized fireboxes and trying to keep his feet at the same time on the dancing decks of a speeding iron horse. Despite the hardships, he took pride in his work. In 1862, locomotive engineers on the Michigan Central Railroad complained about the low pay and working conditions. The Michigan Central agreed to advance the pay of first class engineers and other concessions. However, this proved to be short in duration. Runs were changed in such a way that the engineers experienced reductions in pay rather than increases. A.S. Sweet, who occupied the post of superintendent of machinery with the Michigan Central at the time, had been given the job on the promise that he would reduce costs. He was responsible for cutting the men's pay. The men carried a pointed protest to Sweet, who as a result fired a number of them. Men all over the system were discouraged. Angered by the situation, a group of 13 Michigan Central engineers, failing to find privacy for a meeting on company property, gathered at the home of William D. Robinson of Marshall, Michigan to discuss conditions and map out a plan of action. When the success of this conference became known, it gave tremendous impetus to the group and it was decided to extend the movement to all railroads. A call for a general meeting was to be held in Detroit on May 5, 1863. May 8, 1863, a labor union is founded. The Detroit Convention marked a new era in organization of American Railroad employees. It brought engineers from the Michigan Central, Michigan Southern and Northern Indiana, Detroit and Milwaukee, Grand Trunk, and Michigan Southern Railroads together. Twelve delegates present drafted a constitution which combined democratic control with efficient central administration, thus solving the fundamental problem that had wrecked many previous labor organizations. After three days of deliberations and plans for the future, the delegates on May 8th joined hands and obligated themselves to abide by the Constitution, forming the pioneer division of the Brotherhood of the Footboard, with W.D. Robinson as the chief engineer. This division, our division, division number one, in Detroit, still maintains its proud position as first on the roster of over 800 divisions of the BLET. In 2007, BLET Division 1 in Detroit was proud to once again to have established another first by electing the union's first woman division president in history, Lori Dewey.